I dreamed that one day I could make it to a point where I could turn around and help the next person trying to accomplish their dreams and goals. He wants to be great. He wants to be known as one of the great fullbacks to ever do it. And his heart is just pure. He, he values the relationships that he has with his family, his teammates, his friends, his coaches, the organization that he works for. But he also values what he can contribute to the community, what he can contribute to making others feel as though they're good enough. You can't control what happens to you in life, but you can control your response to it. If I could introduce myself to somebody, I think it would have to start off by just being a kid from Green Bay, Wisconsin that had a dream of playing in the NFL. He has this work ethic that's just unmatched, and, and that's why he's a captain on the team. That's why I'm year nine, and I look up to him. He just does everything the right way. We got a captain right here. Uh -oh. Captain 30. Honor and a pleasure and a privilege. Uh, we have a block for these two right here. It's gonna be a long day for you, bro. Just letting you know. Come on, bring that yeah. I'm just saying. He's the kind of teammate that you want. He's the kind of person you want in your organization because he's going to make everybody around him better. Everybody has their story, right? And, and for him, his story is his legacy. Some of you guys are in foster care, been adopted just like me. The main goal today is having a smile on your face and loving your heart, right? Being adopted gives me a unique outlook on life, on family, on uh, investing in the people around you. I think that those struggles that, <laughs> that can really um, challenge somebody uh, mentally, emotionally. He looks at even adoption was adversity. I don't think we realized how much it affected him. I'm sure that there are kids out there who, who feel exactly the same as he did. I think the message that he sends is that you, you aren't a second choice. You, you can be someone's first choice. And kids need to hear that, especially foster kids, especially if they've gone through foster home after foster home. That one person that can relate to you through their journey up to that point and use your blueprint a little bit more differently. That intention, that impact is so much more meaningful in that moment. And to be able to relate to them at a very deep level was more meaningful than the number of events that you could stack up. The message that he brings about, you know, you are gonna be accepted. You know, share your experiences. Talk with your support group are, are healthy things that, that, that kids, young adults need to do to move forward and thrive. Define your competitive greatness. Be at your best when your best is required. You can be at your best when your best is required tomorrow getting the groceries. You can be at your best when your best is required on your first day at the job. You can be at your best when your best is required, man, hanging out with family, being there, being present. Don't wait. The future is here. The future is now. Be at the best version of yourself when it is required, right here, right now. He inspires anyone who's around him. He just makes you feel like the most important person in the, in the room. The heart that he puts into the events that he puts on is such a big part of like his purpose and who he is. He's touched so many different lives and he's done so much community outreach. So the Ingold Family Foundation, Alec likes to put it, the main idea behind it is to inspire belief. And I think that that really doesn't have limitations on where he's doing the work or who he's working with. Big emphasis on kids who are going through the foster system through adoption. You're building a community so that number 30 means more than just a single person. It's all of those people that you try and serve. 
all those people that you play with, all of the, the community that you've built. The number one goal is to inspire others to believe in the best version of themselves. You, you can't do it alone. Whatever you're trying to do in life, you, can't, you cannot do it alone. Having those sounding boards in your life, whether it's um, parents, siblings, uh, significant others, teammates, coaches, uh, mentors, being able to invest in those people, giving without the intent to receive, I was so scared of falling short, of letting people down that cared about me. And to put that fear aside and to just be yourself and be imperfectly you, that's the one thing I would have wanted to tell myself earlier, to, to get through my stubborn head that you're not gonna be perfect, you're not gonna accomplish everything, you're gonna fail a bunch along the way. But if you stay consistent and you stay true to yourself and your core beliefs and that purpose, your why, um, you'll be all right.